G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another in my series of EV realist videos. In these videos I seek to put a more realistic view of the transition to EVs uh, than the wildly optimistic views that's currently being spruiked by our governments. So if you like this kind of content, it'd be great to have you as a subscriber. So I've said in previous videos that the market for EVs is completely skewed thanks to massive government subsidies and uh, incentives and the reality is that EVs are just not competitive with the current crop of internal combustion engine vehicles and therefore these kind of incentives and subsidies are required in order to make them even vaguely competitive. And just last week a new report was released which really highlights the, the scale of these subsidies and incentives and how skewed the current market for EVs really is. So the headline reads, EV prices masked by taxpayer funded subsidies. The retail price of an average model year 2021 electric vehicle would cost about $50,000 US more if not for significant taxpayer funded support, a new study shows. The Texas Public Policy Foundation released a new report showing that the true cost of producing EVs is far higher than the prices at which they are being sold. According to the study, nearly 22 billion, with a B, in taxpayer funded incentives are being used to disguise the true retail price of EVs. Electric vehicle owners have been the beneficiaries of regulatory credits, subsidies and socialised infrastructure costs totalling nearly $50,000 per EV, said TPPF's Jason Isaac in a statement. These costs are borne by gasoline vehicle owners, taxpayers and utility ratepayers who are all paying a hefty price for someone else's EV. Unlike the owners of traditional gas-powered vehicles who pay for gasoline refinement, transport and marketing each time they fill up at a fuel pump, EV owners are not burdened by regulatory fees when connecting to the electrical grid. Furthermore, whilst gasoline taxes are imposed on and absorbed by owners at the federal and state levels, EV owners face no such tax burden. In fact, EVs receive an average of US$8,984 in direct state and federal subsidies per vehicle over 10 years. Meanwhile, EV manufacturers can receive up to US$27,881 per vehicle in tax rebates and indirect subsidies, which have been created by the Federal Corporate Average Fuel Economy Standards and the Environmental Protection Agency's Greenhouse Gas Emission Standards. When an EV owner connects to the electrical grid, how much are they paying for the extra generation, transmission and distribution costs that they are imposing on the grid? And will those embedded costs rise over time? the Austin-based think tank asked in the report. According to the study, EVs put a significant strain on the energy grid, contributing to nearly US$12,000 in socialised costs per EV over 10 years. While the Biden administration has pushed for the widespread electrification of US roads, many Americans still cannot afford to own an EV even with the government subsidies, coercive regulations and unlawful bonus multipliers. It's not an overstatement to say that the federal government is subsidising EVs to a greater degree than even wind and solar electricity generation and embarking on an unprecedented endeavour to remake the entire American auto industry, the report states. Despite massive incentives, EVs are receiving a tepid response from the majority of Americans who cannot shoulder their higher cost. So you can read the article and the um, original report in links um, down below. It's not just the um, subsidies and incentives that the governments are pushing towards EVs, however. They're also imposing far more regulations on traditional automotive manufacturers in terms of emissions and uh, environmental standards, which make it harder and harder for them to comply. So it's kind of a two-pronged approach. Uh, they're taking with one hand by imposing these massive regulations on uh, internal combustion engine cars, whilst with the other hand they're giving all these um, sweeteners and incentives uh, for manufacturers to switch to EVs. And it just goes to show the scale of how the market for EVs is completely skewed thanks to these incentives. Anyway, that's just about it for this video. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you've got any tips, you can hit me up on Instagram or by email. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye for now.